Hey everyone, I am trying out something new today. If you've uh, seen my channel, a lot of times I film for my house. I do some bolos or some what's old videos or I give you a few tips here and there. Today, I'm doing something completely different. This is a thrift with me video in which I'm um, bringing you along with my commute around Denver to go to a few Goodwills and to see what I can find. I forgot to turn on the camera right before the last store and I did film a little bit of footage showing you a handful of items that I got in the last store, but here I am at another Goodwill. I can't really see it in there, but I'm about to go in and see what I can score here at this Goodwill. I'm really excited. It's been a while since I've been able to get out and actually it's been a while since I've even been down in this area. I'm about an hour away from my house. So get some uh, new experiences today. It brings me back to old times when I used to go to this store all the time. Let's see what I can find. I gotta show you my lucky socks today. Lucky socks, there they are, boom, T-Rex. Helping me find all the good stuff. Take a chance on the South Korea baseball jersey, majestic. Look what's right behind it. Vintage Gak Hawaiian shirt. Let's take a look at the price here. Three ninety nine. Nike Redskins basketball shorts. Six ninety nine. Excellent condition. I think I'll do it. What is this? Could it be? Could it be? I think it's a about 30% uh, off that, so 18 bucks. Come to the patch. I'm thinking about it. So I'm gonna pass on this guy, 16, 17, too much, but check it out. This is a better shape, low alpine. And it is, looks like uh, extra, extra large. Same price, but better condition. Doing it. I always check these corduroy blazers. Chaps, pass it. Looking through Orvis. Chaps. Again, passing probably chaps. Yep. Looking for Orvis. Jake Brew, Banana Republic. Something like that. Check it out. I saw this tag. I've never seen this in the shirt before. I know what drive on means, Burton, and look at this. Brand new tags. It's just like a ski snowboard, mainly snowboard, but $5.99, third off, so four fifty. Taking it. So I passed on a pair of keys on the other side of this rack because they were $20. These, a little smaller, but $10.99, they're 30% off, seven bucks. All right, so I, I alluded to it in the store. I passed on that vintage Columbia for a couple of reasons. One, it was like $24, it was 30% off, which would have brought it down to, I believe, um, $16. It was a uh, medium, which is kind of a smaller size. I'm really looking for a larger. But here's something, just as a comparison, I showed you this in the store, but I got this low Alpine jacket and it's actually excellent condition extra large it's got a hood it looks like it's barely been worn even though low alpine you know isn't really as uh, popular uh, i paid the same price so i got it for 16 dollars, and um, i should get i would say a minimum of 40 but i'm gonna ask probably 50 to 60 starting off 
because it is in such great shape. I may get home and be surprised that, that it goes for more than that. And if so, I'll list it higher, but that's kind of where I am on that. I wanted to explain myself a little more because that vintage Columbia for $16, it was a very lightweight. It wasn't like a heavy ski coat. If it was heavier and a larger size, I would have definitely picked it up. But um, I'm trying to be smarter on how much I'm spending on um, inventory and only paying up if it's a really good deal and if it's going to go for a lot more money. So um, hope that makes sense. Time to fuel up. And we have Cliff Bar Nut Butter Filled. That's the key. Nut Butter Filled can't go wrong. Cliff Bar, if you want to sponsor me, go for it. But these things are so good. This is the chocolate peanut butter. We get ours at Costco. It comes in a box of like 30 and they're split between chocolate peanut butter and peanut butter. I have to say I like the peanut butter better, but this is all we have left in our cupboard. And this is a great um, refueling bar for when I'm out and about. And if I'm spending five hours a day hitting up thrift stores, you know, I try and bring like a banana for breakfast. I'll have one of these bars. And then um, today I've got like a couple slices of pizza left over um, that I'm gonna dig into here probably after the next stop. Now I have one of my favorite Goodwills in Denver. I come here about once every six weeks just because it's not as close, but uh, I love this store. It's huge and I can always find really good brands for like $4.99. So we'll see what I find today. All right, first up, J. Crew. It's a small one, but it is half price, so $4. This is what I look for on sweaters, padded. And this is 80% lamb's wool. So even though it's a small four box, I'll get it. It'll sell for 30. Found another one, better size large. J. Crew, wool sweater, and this is 100% but $8, twice as much. And it doesn't look as nice, so I'm leaving it. Gotta know what you're looking for. Check this out. Oh, bean, come on. Large, eight bucks. That's an easy yes. As long as, yeah, that'll come off. Easy, easy one. Another sweater here. This is Eddie Bauer, it's a newer tag. Uh, $7.99, but that's 30% off, so it'll be about six bucks. Um, that's large. Actually, no go on that. Face. Active pullover, thumb holes. I don't know if you can see those. Five bucks. Doing that. Looks like a runner shirt. $6.99 for those. Shimano should be 50 bucks. Do you see it? Oh, there it is. Eddie Bauer. Corduroy jacket. And look what I got. Padded elbows. $8. Flannel line. That would go for $40 to $50. That is beautiful. Guys, I gotta let you in on a little bit of a secret. I hate one brand that I see all the time. You wanna know what it is? Here it is. Good fellow. Good fellow. Brand new Hurley Phantoms. $40 short board shorts. All right, party peeps, it is the middle of the day, 12.30. I just left my third thrift store. I got a little bit of footage in that store. I, I bought quite a bit of stuff. I think I got like 20 to 30 items, so I didn't get a video of everything that I got on the rack, but I did try to get some um, really cool things that I are more like bread and butter items that I find quite a bit. I'm gonna show you that probably at the very end. I may do a video just kind of showing everything that I got. I know it's quite a bit of stuff because I think I've bought 50 or 60 items. So this video could be long, but um, 
you know, I, I kind of want to just finish up this day in the life of a thrifter, um, thrift, thrift store right along with what I'm buying, what I'm finding. I may have to go through that quickly because like I said, I'm already at like 60 items and I think I have one more store to go. So um, one more and then I'm going to pick up my wife from work and then we're going to head home. It's lunchtime. I'm at stop number four. My last Goodwill of the day. Look what I got. This video is kind of foggy, but pizza. Yummy. Quite good. No, I'm not going to lie to you and say that's the best pizza in the world. It is a gluten-free crust. It's actually a cauliflower crust. It's just sausage and it's cold. But for right now, it satisfies my hunger. And without that, I may get hangry in the thrift store. All right, just got back from the fourth Goodwill, the last stop. I've got to go pick up my wife now. I am getting tired. <laughs> Didn't find too many things there. There was only like, uh, I think I got seven items. They were out of carts, so I had to hold the clothes on the hangers in my arms, so I wasn't able to record anything. But like I said, I'll show you when I get home what I got. I'll just quickly go through all the items, give you uh, the basics of what it is and how much I should get for it. She is gonna come out of that door right there. There she is. That's my wife right there. What are you doing? Hey, babe. Hey. <laughs> All right, I'm finally back at my house. Uh, this is actually the next day because I was exhausted yesterday from driving around basically from eight in the morning until I uh, got home around 3 p.m., 4 p.m. by the time I shipped and got all that stuff done. So I was completely wiped out, but here I am refreshed. It's a new day. I'm gonna go over uh, 65 items. Now, I'm gonna do it really fast, and this is something I'm not, I haven't done in the past, just to move what feels for me really fast. So please hang in there. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say what it is, the brand, and how much I should get for it. It's gonna be kind of a lightning round to get through these 60 items. Um, I'm trying to put as many brands in front of you as possible and prices but I'm gonna tell you the minimum that I should take for each item. So I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna list it at, I'm gonna tell you the offer that I would accept. So let's say I have an item for $25. If I say my minimum is 25, I'm probably gonna list it in the mid 30s, uh, low 30s to take that best offer of 25. So just keep that in mind. The price I'm telling you is the least amount that I'm willing to take. So here I go, action. These first two items that I found at the first thrift store uh, our Ted Becker endurance dress shirts, both same size, similar color, both like a purple or a pink. Um, I should get $40 at a minimum. I'm gonna lot these together and hope they sell as a lot. I've got three items similar to this next one. I don't know if they're all the same size. I don't think they are, but this is BKE. It's a Western shirt. You can tell by the pearl snaps. I should get a minimum of $24 to $25 for this, and it does have kind of a distressed look. I don't know if you can tell from the um, camera or not, but it, it, this one is a cooler design than what I usually find. And then I'll just go ahead and show you the other two BKE um, Pearl Snap Western shirts. Again, $24, $25. So I got three of those at the first store. This is the item that you saw in the, um, in the video of the, the footage of the store. It's the REI Outdoor shirt. It is a 2XL. No, sorry, it's a large. Looks like a 2XL. Um, but I should get 24 to $25 for this excellent condition. Yeah, this is the Korea, South Korea um, World Classic baseball jersey that I got, and it's got the patch here from 2009. Uh, I should get a, a minimum of $30 for this. Next up, this Gap Hawaiian shirt, which I also showed you the footage in the store. I don't typically find Gap Hawaiian shirts. Um, I'm, I'm not as confident in pricing this, but Minimum of $22 to $24 is what I should get for this. It is in good condition, and this will probably sit around until summer when people start to look for shirts like this. Nike on field, Washington Redskins shorts. There are actually four of these. This is the only one that was in excellent condition, and it's actually vented on the back. You can kind of see they're vented. Doesn't look like these have hardly been worn, but um, I said Nike on field. You can kind of see right there where it says Nike on field, it's a little more of official um, apparel for sports fans. I think I should get a minimum of $25 for these. 
in excellent condition. I've sold something similar to these in the past. Merrill uh, Jungle Mock shoes. You can see the tag on there. $19.95, but these were half price, so they were 10 bucks. But something like these, since they're guys, I'll get a little more than if they were women's. These are nine and a half men's. Pretty good size, good range. Um, the tread on these is actually ex excellent. Minimum of $45 on these. The first thing I found, and you'll notice that most of these are clothing. That's typically what I focus on, but this TaylorMade driver, I had to look it up, but I know TaylorMade's a good brand, but I didn't know how old this driver was. It was $4.99. It is a, an R7 425 driver. I won't even try and sell this on eBay, but I'm gonna list it locally and take uh, a minimum of $40 for this, but I think I can get 50. This next item was actually uh, something I don't find hardly at all, but it is an Odyssey putter. Odyssey's a great brand when it comes to putters. Putters are what they specialize in. So if you can find an Odyssey putter, this one's even older. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. It's got a little bit of some marks there on the edge, but I'm gonna ask for a minimum of $40 on this, and it was $3.99. Next, these Bontrager, Bontrager, I'm not really sure. It's a cycling shoe. You can tell by the bottom. Usually it'll have clips right here, but if they don't come with clips, you can still sell them. These were $24.99 for half price, so I got them for 12 bucks. They look like they're almost brand new, so Bontrager is a great brand. I'm gonna ask probably a minimum of $50 on these. Shouldn't be hard to get since they are in great condition, possibly more. I'm not as familiar with Adidas. I mean, I know the brand, but I don't sell them as much when it comes to shoes. I looked these up, it says King Push here on kind of the bottom of the laces. These are in excellent condition. I paid $10 for them. I took a chance. I don't think it's much of a chance because I shouldn't have a problem getting $40 for these shoes. They are a larger size men's. These I thought were really cool, the red color. They need to be cleaned up a little bit, so I'll try and kind of get some of this brown around the rims off there with some cleaning solution that I have. Again, same price, $10. The only hesitancy that I had, I noticed later on was no insoles. So something like this with no insoles, I, I take off about 10 bucks. I'm sure there's someone that would take these shoes that maybe has the same shoes or another pair of Adidas that they can just slip in the insoles. I would say a minimum of $30 for these. Next up, I paid up for these. I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna regret it or not. I mean, I'll get my money back, but I paid $20. These are brand new Toms. They're women's shoes, still have the tags on them. Paid 20, they're like a pink lavender color and should get a minimum of $45 for these. Hoke is a brand that I typically pick up anytime I see it, but I actually passed, between the four stores I went to, I actually passed on about four or five pairs of Hoka's between men's and women's, only because the tread on the soles was really worn down. These are actually really good condition. These are women's Hoka um, running shoes, paid 10 bucks. Should get a minimum of $40 for these, but Hoka commands a higher price, so could easily get 50 bucks with these being in excellent condition, and it's not unheard of, I have sold a used pair of Hoka's before for $100, so make sure you look up Hoka and the brand and the model, sorry, the model, and you may be surprised at what you can get. Another pair of Hoka's, women's, Bondi 5's, I should get a minimum of 40, they're not in as good condition as the last ones. Um, you can see a little more wear there on the soles, $9 into 40. A brand I'm familiar with, but don't ever really pick up are um, LeBron James shoes. Found these and I decided, what the heck, let's take a chance on them. $12.99. They have a little bit of wear on them around the sides, like you can see on the inside. They've got a little bit of a rubbing, but um, they're a great size. I think they're 12s and they're only about four or five years old. So relatively new. I mean, that's still a long time, but someone will want to cop these sneakers for about $35 to $40. In a very recent video, I talked about Restoration Hardware plush duvet slippers. This is now the second time I've found them. I got them for $6.99, and I've actually sold a pair very similar to these. They have like a very soft cushion. They're for women. This is a larger size. I should get an easy minimum of $30, and they're light, ship first class, so save on fees. I don't find this brand very often, but when I do, I almost always pick it up. As long as it's not too much, these were $30. They were kind of right on that um, right on that line of, do I buy it or do I leave it? I paid full price, $30, but as you can see, they're in excellent condition. Very minimal signs of wear, and the brand is AE. You know what that is? If you don't, you should know this brand. It's a great one. 
Allen Edmonds dress shoes. They're a little more rare, but a used pair of Allen Edmonds. I mean, brand new, something like this would be $150 to $200. So used, depending on the condition, I could get close to, I'd say $80 to $100 for these. My last two items that I found at this first thrift store of four, the four Goodwills that I went to, they had a corner of the store that was like items that they had had for a while. So it was kind of like bins where it's just massive uh, uh, Gaylords of boxes of clothes, just all stuffed. And they're like $1.25 per item. So I don't typically spend a lot of time like digging through, but I'll kind of look around on the top and if I can find items that are worth something to me for a buck, I'll do it. Now I wouldn't pick this up if I paid seven or eight dollars, but it was $1.25 and it is heavier. It's a field and stream, like a shirt jacket, and it's got the hoodie, full zip. It's just something that you would wear for like outdoor construction or outdoor chores or things like that, or just a casual winter layer. Should get an easy $30 for this. And the last item at that store is a kid's jacket. Now I, I don't pick up kid's jackets, but for a dollar I will, I will consider pretty much anything. And this is North Face. So North Face, lightweight, rain jacket, kids. Should get an easy $25 for this. How are you guys doing? Are you hanging in there? I know this is a lot of information, but I'm trying to move fast. All right, store number two. Got this MLS Salt Lake City football jersey, soccer jersey. I actually sell soccer jerseys really well if they're MLS teams and they're in really good condition and they're newer, newer jerseys. Should get a minimum of $25. All right, LL Bean. This is a brand I've talked about in the past. It's a Kamoi shirt, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a heavier cotton, great for winter. Paid up for this, eight bucks, but I will get $35. Actually, considering keeping this next item for myself, I've started getting into running more lately. This is a North Face running layer, and you can tell because it's got a zipper on the back, this is where runners would typically put like, um, like fuel, like goo, um, packs, like gel packs, or you know, you could put keys or something in here. So that's kind of how you know if it's a runner's um, attire, runner's top, and I should get a minimum of $25. So next item, you heard me go on a little bit of a rant in the store on how I know what to pick up with sweaters. I don't really pick up cotton sweaters unless it's got some kind of other fabric blend in with it. This is a wool sweater, it's J. Crew. It's a lighter, like green or blue, kind of in between. I will get a minimum of $30 for this sweater. And rather than going through these individually here, I, I actually picked up like four or five sweaters there. All, I think they're all J. Crew. They're all wool. Here's some gray ones. This one is a crew neck, and this one is a pullover. Um, one fourth zip is how I would list that in the description. Again, thirty dollars for these. You probably are familiar with this logo right there, Vineyard Vines. If you're not, great brand. It's uh, a little more rare than some of the others, but this shirt. It's just your typical like long sleeve polo. This is a 2XL, great size. I will get a minimum of $30 for this. I don't know why, but I had Untuck It vibes yesterday in my head. I kept saying, I'm gonna find Untuck It, I'm gonna find Untuck It. It took me two or three stores to get there, but lo and behold, I did find Untuck It. This is what it looks like. Untuck It is a brand that sells fast in the mid 30s. I will get 35 bucks for this. This shirt did have like a, a mark right there on the sleeve. I don't have a problem with that because I have some solution. It's like a stain remover that will get that out. So $35 for this. If for some reason that stain doesn't come out, I still should get a minimum of 20 bucks, but I'm confident I can get it out. Next brand, the vintage items in this brand sell well. This is Territory Ahead. That's one of the newer tags. The, I'll show you one of the older ones because I do believe that I got a vintage territory ahead. But I pretty much always pick these up. They do sell well. This is just your typical cotton button down shirt and I should get a minimum of $25 for this. All right, you probably saw this as well in the footage. I look for these specifically now um, all the time. So if I can find a corduroy jacket, a men's blazer, brands that I'm looking for with these corduroy jackets and you know, this is more of a green olive color brown, green or olive, or navy blue are all great colors to look for for something like this. I found Orvis, J. Crew, Eddie Bauer. This is a vintage one. 
These command a minimum of $40. Minimum of $40, but probably closer to the $50 range. And here's a great thing to find with a blazer. If you can find the corduroy with the padded elbows, this commands a little bit more money. So I'll get another five or 10 bucks for something like this on the back. As mentioned, I knew I had a territory ahead in, in, uh, the, in the bundle that I have here that's vintage so I can show you the tag. And that's what it looks like. That's the vintage territory ahead. I've gotten really good at just being able to uh, pick these shirts off the rack without even looking at the tag because they all have a very similar um, style look to them. And a lot of times I'll be like, that's vintage or that's territory ahead and it is. I can almost tell when I see a sleeve, I can go, I know what that is. This is just your typical linen white shirt. I don't typically pick up white just because it gets stained, but I checked this very well and there are no stains that I can see and it is XL. So for something like this, minimum of $30, probably closer to 35. Pair of North Face shorts. These are flash dry men's hiking shorts. I can just tell by the logo, these are a little bit of a newer short. Here's the tag. The older tags are like a rectangular black um, tag. That's kind of the more vintage North Face. This is more of a newer style. Minimum of 22 to $24 for this. With something like North Face, I don't pick up the old stuff anymore because I find it will go for less than 20. So North Face, when it comes to shorts, I should say. With the shorts, I'm looking at newer shorts. All right, in the last video, the 18 Bolo brands that I talked about Oakley, and I said, if I can find a pair of golf shorts, um, then I will pick them up. And I actually had a pair of board shorts thinking they were golf shorts, but lo and behold, ask and you shall receive. These are golf shorts that I paid $4 for, and I will get in the mid 20s for these. They're great color. Black is probably one of the better colors. These should not have a hard time selling. I love this brand, and I'm typically referring to new. And that's what I got here. A pair of Hurley Phantom board shorts, new with tags. Easy $40 on these. There are Hurleys that are not Phantom, and if you have, even if they're new with tags, you won't get 40 bucks. Hurley Phantoms will go for 40 to 50, but it's not gonna be hard if I list them at 50 to take a best offer for 40. And again, lightweight, first class, great flip. Whale logo on the back, you probably know what that is. Again, Vineyard Vines, corduroy pants, men's. And for these, I should get a minimum of $30. This shirt is a color that now that we're past the holidays, it may have a harder time selling, but it is still winter, so that's great. Lucky Brand, the tag there, you can see little to no wear on this shirt. So this is a Lucky Brand Western shirt. I've ranted about this in the past. I only pick up Lucky Brand that are the Western shirts. Easy $24. This brand I don't typically buy, but this was more of, a, of the type of shirt that I got, Lands In. And this um, flannel type shirt with the color, the blue and the green is a popular color, similar to the red on that. Um, more of a holiday, winter, festive color. Just because of this fabric, it's soft and it's a little heavier, 24 of a minimum. All right, another J. Crew wool shirt. This is the one I alluded to. It's got the padded elbows, which is a bonus. Plus, uh, wool, it is small which is a bummer because it will sit a little longer, but green tag means half price, four bucks into 30. New brand for me, I thought I had bought this brand before and I was actually getting it mistaken with another one, but this is Billy Reed. I've never actually heard of it. Took a chance on it because I saw comps were in the mid 20s to 30. Hopefully Billy Reed doesn't disappoint. Put uh, a comment below if you actually know this brand, Billy Reed. Another BKE Western shirt. Don't need to talk about this one too much. 24 to $25. This brand I don't buy that much unless it's new with tags or vintage, and this is more of a vintage Gap flannel. Color's okay, it's a green. I mean, I'm not a fan of it, but someone else out there is. Should get a minimum of the mid 20s on something like this. And again, Gap, this isn't a vintage Gap because of the tag right there. But the reason why I picked this up is because of the Pearl Snaps Western look. It is a small and slim fit, so again, small, sit longer, but mid-20s for this. Last item I found at that store was another pair of cycling shoes, and here's a pair of shoes with the clips actually in them. These are Shimano. Shimano's a great brand. Easy $40 minimum. I paid $6.99 for these. $40, could possibly get $50. Cycling is a sport that people Typically pay up 
to get really good stuff. It's kind of like golf. You put a lot of money at the beginning to get all that gear and equipment. Maybe the buyer of this shoe doesn't want to spend $100 or $125 to get a brand new cycling shoe, possibly $150. And so they will pay $50 to get this shoe in excellent condition. Win for both of us. All right, we're halfway done. Not necessarily with the count, but those that's the two stores out of the four that I've been to. I'm gonna go grab those tubs behind me and we're gonna come back with more items next. Quick break here before I get into these last two stores. What you're noticing is I've got a lot of items in the mid 20s. I don't have a problem selling items in the mid 20s as long as I'm only paying like $3.99, $4.99 for that item. Uh, some of these items will sit longer, which is okay, it's not preferable, but um, I'm trying to get above 30 and above. I realize there are people, there are a lot of people looking for the mid 20 range. And for something that is lightweight, ships first class, I don't have a problem selling for 25. You're seeing a lot of items that I'm saying a minimum of 25. Obviously, I'm hoping that they sell for full price around 30, but sometimes you just take a best offer and move on and ship it out and make 15 bucks. So we're on to store number three. I only got like seven or eight things at this store. I'll kick it off with these, this pair of running shoes. These are women's. Running shoes, you have to be careful because there are a lot out there and they typically have wear on them. The reason why I picked these up, these have a, their special commemorative um, shoe for the New York City Marathon. And so you can see on the back, they're Asics Gel Kayano 20 and they've got a New York City 2013 logo. Look these up, minimum of 35 to $40 minimum. This next item I've kind of cooled off on a little bit, Tommy Bahama, I used to pick this up all the time, but now I'm looking for either cool silk Hawaiian shirts that have really vibrant colors that are different, or linen shirts. This is a um, linen shirt. I should get a minimum of $24 for this, long sleeve. A brand I'm not as familiar with, 686 is a like, snowboard ski apparel. These are a great color for right now. You're, if you are a skier or a snowboarder, you notice that there are a lot of neon bright colors out there in the mountain that kind of pop off the white snow. And these are neon green. I paid 10 bucks for these and I'll get a minimum of 35 to $40. Next item is a brand that is flooded on the market. Um, you see this everywhere, but this is something that I pick up because of the style of shirt, Eddie Bauer. It's a vintage Eddie Bauer and it's, it's a corduroy heavier cotton button up shirt. For something like this, minimum of $30 probably closer to 35. All right, another territory ahead. This is just your typical cotton short sleeve shirt. I would say a minimum of $24. Last item I found at that store. This is an Eddie Bauer cardigan sweater. Cardigan because it buttons up. It's not like a pullover. And this is actually a sweater vest. I um, said sweater. I almost didn't get this just because Eddie Bauer again flooded, but I looked it up. Should get minimum $35 for this. And with sweaters, you gotta be careful because Sometimes you'll have like pulled snags or holes. So I definitely check sweaters to make sure there are no holes around the sweater. That's it at store number three. One more store and then we're done. We are in the home stretch now. We're on the last store. Let's get to it now. First item up. I'm very familiar with this brand. I alluded to it in the store. It's Burton. What you want to find with Burton is Burton Dry Ride. Dry Ride means waterproof and breathable and it's a great brand to find for skiing and snowboarding. If this were not new with tags, I may not have picked it up. It is new with tags and it's just a long sleeve layer with like a waffle knit. That's how you would pronounce or that's the description you would use in the title. Waffle knit sleeves, new with tags. This is a layer you'd wear on your jacket. Should get close to $40 for this. All right, pair of Saucony, like, whoa. <laughs> I caught it though. Pair of Saucony. Kind of like New Balance look shoes, like a canvas material. Paid $12.99, these were 30% off, so I got them for like eight bucks. I'll clean the bottom up so you don't have like that gunk. Should get a minimum of $35 for these. Great brand to look for, these are Keens. I almost can always spot Keens because they have this very signature look here on the toes. And I got these at 30% off of 11, so about $8. These are your typical Keens for women's, and they are size seven will fit in a padded flat rate. I should get minimum $35 for these. Another great brand of shoes, Merrill. These are, I think, Pace Glove, like minimalist running barefoot shoes. So people don't wear socks with these and you would run like on trails. They're lightweight, they don't weigh very much at all. Actually, they're under a pound, so I'll ship them first class. 
paid eight bucks, should get minimum 35. I love these next two pickups because these are brand new. You can see the tag there in the bottom of the shoe. SAS stands for San Antonio Shoes, I believe. I got them for 18 bucks. Brand new SAS though, shouldn't have a hard time getting $50 for these. And then very similar style, just different color. The other pair of SAS, same thing, 18 bucks into 50. We're gonna go into a jacket stretch. I found three or four really solid jackets at that store. This is Low Alpine, maybe only the second Low Alpine that I've ever picked up in my four years of selling here. Very rare brand that I find. On the sleeve it says triple point. This is an XL, it's like a purplish blue, great condition, men's. I will probably get a minimum of 40 because of the condition, maybe closer to 50 for this. On that last item, the Low Alpine, I definitely wanna get that listed pretty quickly because it's almost February. March is like your, your ski season here in Colorado. People are looking to buy used stuff to bring on their vacation. If I don't sell it by the end of March, I'm probably not gonna, I'm probably gonna end up sitting on that until next ski season. So I definitely wanna get that listed, get a good price on it and get it out. Brand I don't typically pick up, but Redhead, it's got, this is a um, shooting shirt because of the pad right here. Brand new with tags, the only reason why I picked it up, should get $30 for this. We are in Rocky Nation, got a Colorado Rockies like puffer jacket, brand is Majestic, it's full zip. This is an extra large, I will get a minimum of 35 to 40 dollars for this all right a little hesitant on this but it's ll bean and it's 2xl tall it's a very soft polo uh, i wish it was my size i'd keep it probably get a minimum of 25 dollars on this excellent condition shirt last item that i got at all four stores this is the last store it is a marmot rain jacket and it's got a place a zipper where the hood is i got home and realized the hood is actually um, in the pocket actually just fell out as I pulled the jacket out. So I'll attach the hood. Actually, if it's a rain jacket, people want a hood. This is excellent condition for um, a marmot that I'm not sure how old it is, but it is, it's an extra large. I should get about 50 bucks for this. Whew, are you as tired as I am after going through all of those? I wanna give you the grand total of what I think I will make based on my minimum amounts, what I will accept offers for on those items and though I don't know it right now off the top of my head, I believe I had 64 items that I purchased at those four stores. I'm gonna put somewhere at the bottom of this video, I'll put like a, a total of adding up all the minimum amounts that I told you what I will get for those 64 items. I do know I spent roughly, I think it was close to $550 on all of those. It was an average of just under $9 per item. A lot of the items I got were new with tags and so I don't mind paying up for stuff like that. So I'll put the, the total somewhere down here. And you'll see exactly what I should get for that, just to give you an idea. I don't know about you, but I need to get a drink of water because that's a lot of information to cover quickly. So I know this video, I hope you like the idea that I was rolling with the thrift store ride along. I think I'm gonna start doing that more because I had a lot of fun kind of bringing you in on the process and letting you see what I'm looking at on the rack. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did this day in the life video of a thrifter reseller. All right, so as I wrap up, I wanna say one last thing I've never said before. I've now put my address in the description of each video. If you look into the description, you will find my home address. You can send me a postcard if you'd like to reach out and then I will give you a shout out on a future video and meet my viewers. And also, in the description is my eBay store. If you purchase something from me, put in the comments of that order, uh, I'm a YouTube subscriber or YouTube viewer, so that I know and I will also give a shout out to you as well. Any interaction that I have with viewers is very appreciated and I just wanna say thanks. All right guys, that's all I got. I'm exhausted. Thanks for tuning in today and as always, happy selling. Until next time.